Uh, this is Naim Khan and I am giving you the first tutorial how to install in pre-install system like Acer I have is X3995 Expire S how to, how to downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 so let me start as you can see we are in Windows 8 first you have to go to the settings then you can see these are the settings go to the settings and then you change, change PC settings Go there. Here is uh, PC settings options, and you have to go to the general. And in the bottom of these options, you can see advanced start up. And you have to click on start now, restart now. Now we are in the general advanced settings. Now you have to go to troubleshoot advanced option. This is UEFI firmware settings. And you have to go to check the BIOS settings. Click on it and it will ask you restart to change. E U E F I firmware settings. Restart. Now here we are in our BIOS settings. You just have to go to authentication. There is two options of secure mode and secure boot. You just have to disable the secure boot. And as you see the secure mode boot is gone. Now you have to check your boot options first you have to put the CD drive on the first then if you have any removal removable device like USB and all you have to go that okay for me it's CD and DVD drive here uh, you can see the boot priority order will be like CD and DVD what you have if you have C CD then you have to put your CD-ROM on the first priority boot and if you have the if you are booting up from USB device then you have to put your first boot priority device is uh, the removable device okay now what we do next is launch CSM it's you have to enable this option it will be show you the legacy mode it will be go the all available bootable CDs and USB device will be boot on it so you just save and exit after that. Yes. Here I have Windows 7 Ultimate 86 and 64-bit uh, windows which I 
download it from torrent and burn it on DVD so I will put in the system Again. As you can see, the Windows is uh, loading. The Windows 7 loading files is there. Now you can see this Windows 7 boot is enabled. I have just click next and install now. you can choose the option whether you have to install 86 version or 64 bit version but I like the 86 version and next accept next uh, I don't need the upgrade version I need to install a new version of Windows 7 here you can see some of the system having a problem if if it's a pre-installed version then uh, the Windows 8 is based on GPT style the partition style as if you are aware of it in GPT so you cannot install directly the Windows 7 on pre-install machine of Windows 8 so you can see it's showing me the error as you can see the Windows cannot be installed on the disk the select disk is of the GBT partition style and Windows 7 is based on MBR style so we have to convert first the GPT to MBR. So for that I need to restart the system and I have to put the magic partition on that. Okay. And there is another op option if you wanted to <coughs> if you don't need a magic partition you just have to delete the all drives which definitely you have to take a backup of it so I'm deleting all my partitions through the drive option of Windows 7 as you see I deleted all the partitions now I'm making the new partition for me Okay, I have to put like this. Okay, and this give the system reserved also. So now I have two partitions. Let me format it. you see both partition I make it and I'm formatting it now you can go directly to the installation process click on next and here the windows is installing 
now you can see uh, it's almost in the end of the completing installation after that I will show you uh, where to download the drivers of the Windows 7 because uh, if the pre-installed Windows 8 it cannot take automatically all the drivers so especially for Acer I will tell you from where to download the drivers and for the torrent uh, this Windows uh, 7 the link is below you can download from the torrent and burn it from the DVD or USB anything you want especially the torrent which I have and I burn it from the DVD it doesn't need a product key so you have to just uncheck this automatically activate windows when I'm online just have to uncheck and then click on next and for this updates you just have to click on ask me later as you have to set your time ok click on next here it's automatically registering the product key which I will show you after the startup game here we are uh, the windows is preparing the desktop and here we are in the desktop for this here you can see the here you can check the drivers you have to go to the my computer properties as it, it is showing you the 32 bit operation system which you have to know about it and it's product ID is activated and it's genuine right. and you have to go to the device manager as you can see there is no drivers of LAN, PC even display drivers you can see this is the standard VG graphics adapter so you have to go to the explorer in the another system and download your drivers I have my drivers already downloaded so I will show you how to search your drivers yeah so I installed my own drivers uh, it's better if you are planning to install the new windows uh, you have to see from the device manager of your uh, drivers and then have a backup then you go for a new installation anyhow I am in the issue website as you can see my internet speed is not so good right now for this for downloading the drivers this is the Acer website, official website is acer.com I have to go to support support is here and in the bottom you can see the drivers and the manuals you go for a different product product model number the serial number and SDN uh, search by the product 
I know the product so I will go in this search here there are several types of Acer machines I have a desktop workstation so I'll go on that I have an Aspire I'll click on that and as you can see in there are lots of numbers I have as you can see I have X3995 so I'll go X3995 here is it in the bottom you can see it's loading the driver and the link here you can see Windows 32 bit here yeah. I need this 32 bit because my operating system based on 32 bits is uh, downloading options and each and every driver you can find here if you are installing 64 bit it's 64 bit available windows 8 is available and all if you want windows xp to be installed on your system you can go to the hall and these are all systems are there so thank you for watching for my first tutorial if I make any mistakes I'm sorry for that <coughs> hope and I hope we will make more tutorials for you thank you for watching bye